Because there is no impossibilities with God. Listen, God is interested in you serving him than just solving a problem for you. I see many people come around me, they just want God to solve a problem. And after that, they can go and do whatever they want. Until one problem comes again. Then they come and look for God. Why don't you let problem come and meet you with God? So the day the problem came, you and God are in the same place. Amen. We are fasting. Today is day what? Is it 88 or 89? 89 days of fasting. It's a historic fasting. Those who fasted, they are clapping. If you are not clapping, why not? Because if you are not fasted, it, it fasted, it's very difficult to even clap because you don't even know what you are clapping about. But if, I, I don't blame you for not clapping because um, you don't know what you are clapping for. Amen. Man shall not live by bread alone. What a blessing it, it is for God to give us grace. Listen, a lot of good things will come out of this first. And it has stopped a lot of satanic activities in the realm. Of God. If you look at all the fasting, the rewards of fasting comes after the fast. It was on the third day of Nineveh's fasting that God came in and said, Jonah, I have changed my mind. Not the first day. Yeah. It was on the third day that Esther entered into the court and the king pointed the golden oh, scepter. Oh, oh. And he said, Queen Esther, what do you want? Even half of the kingdom. <laughs> it was on the 40 days of the fast that the Bible said, and the Lord repented. And Moses stood in the tabernacle for 40 days and 40 nights. Amen. Amen. Daniel petition fasting was a different one. I am not giving up until I see manifestation. On the 21st day, God show up. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. I can read on and read on and read on and read on. Every fasting prayer. Interestingly, when Jesus came on earth, like God came on earth, the first scripture God quoted was about fasting. Jesus' first scripture he quoted is that man shall not live by bread alone. That is the first recorded scripture quoted by Jesus from Deuteronomy. After he is fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and the devil came to tell him, he said, man shall not live by bread alone. The problem with this generation is bread. It is the most dangerous among all the appetites. The food appetite is more dangerous than the sex appetite. Anyone that cannot control his mouth cannot control his waist. This is the bottom line. If you, pre if you pretend, you really hear what I said. That is exactly what I said. That is what brought all the wahala we are going through. The temptation in the garden of Eden was bread. Adam saw that it was good for food. And ate it. And the Bible said their eyes were open. There is nothing wrong for your eyes to be open. But if get open at the wrong time. And so you can eat one food and your eyes will be open. 
It has trapped men in the rooms of strange women. After the Benko and the Fetri, that is worthless. Man shall not live by bread alone. The most frightening statement I've heard is the way to a man's heart is through his mouth. Brother, if that is your slogan, you don't have a future. Food. 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 We will reduce a lot of sicknesses and overstress our health system if we engage in disciplinary fasting life. That's all. Almost every sickness in your body came through some food. In my ministry, with the grace of dealing with a lot of deliverance problems, I discovered that most of the people you cast a spirit, they got it through food. One way or the other. If a man is dating you, he'll take you to a restaurant. Hmm. Some of you getting close to Christmas, you eat all manner of things. Food. Hmm. We have some dogs at home and one white man friend said that, Nana, Give them food at a certain time. If it's 8 o'clock, make sure 8 o'clock they are eating. And I discovered that sometimes when you were late 30 minutes, you give them the food they don't eat. They just get used to eating at a certain time. They don't eat. We don't have time. <laughs> After breakfast on his way to work, you buy a break across the way. You say, do you know you are the reason why they sell on the road? If nobody buys, they have stopped. If you see the Nkati cake seller, you are the reason why. Because you know when you see it, you will buy. People are fasting. All they see is food. In their dream. Monday salad. Tuesday Nkati Nkwai. Tuesday every... I mean, sincerely. How many of you fast and you dream food? And you are liars too. That is another problem. Hallelujah. Food. When we started this Andres day fasting, people make it look like we have committed sin. You see people talking. As if we have sin. And the reason they are talking is so because we have sin. No? Denying them food. Then you are their enemy. But the benefits that goes with it. Wow. You cannot be in fasting and be lustful. If you are doing a 14 day dry fasting, by third day, <laughs> strength leaves you. You will lose. Between 7 to 10 days, you have lost sex appetite. You have lost food appetite. You have lost greed and covetous appetite. Yeah. Only fasting can do that. Yeah. Every form of addiction is reversible by fasting. Pornographic addiction. Lustful addiction. Food addiction. Unfortunately, we don't have alcoholics in the church, but we have a lot of foodholics. And they are all sinful. There's no difference between a drunkard and a glutton. They are all sinful before God. 
If you cannot control your appetite, you don't have a stand for immorality. No. All adulterous men in this room are also food giants. This is it. Hallelujah. I will not spare you today. The bottom line. To solve a lot of problems. Somebody told me, I went to a funeral after eating. My life has never been the same. Sickness upon sickness. Not every food you see is food. Paul commanded us to pray on every food. Some people, they eat half before they remember to pray. Half of the food is already gone. They say, Lord, sanctify the one in and the one I'm continuing. There are some they don't even remember at all. After the food is gone, they say, Lord, I really forgot it to pray, but since it has not digested, do something about it. People's face change when we are doing Last week, is, we are doing a dry fasting from Tuesday to Friday. Yes. Only on water. And then they stay very strong. I want to start from Wednesday. The Lord says, son, it's December. It's not a joke. Man. There are two months among the 12 of the months that you don't play. December and January. No. If you were a food during these two months, I'm telling you. Don't invest in your stomach. Invest in your mind. Amen. If you see a man who is vibrating and jacking because his food is not ready, he needs a crusade. Catch him say, What's seven pet? And then they say, Yeah, ready. Mean person, and they do the bad. Jack in, caca, caca, caca. He needs a problem. How disciplined is this thing? I can wake up in the morning and I feel for a certain breakfast. And they prepare it. Get me some omelette, Spanish omelette. And get me some. Some sausage and some flakes and we call it English breakfast. And when I'm about to cut it, the Lord say it's not an eating day. Sometimes when the fork is going into your mouth. And maybe the next seven days you are on water. Can God depend on you? God is too late. Mercy, Lord. Hallelujah. You are where you are as a result of the price of prayer and fasting you paid. And where you are going will determine the one you are doing now. So I don't need to close my eyes and prophesy. For fasting for 100 days, I know you have a future. <laughs> 